Okay, well, here at the shop today, we are installing the new roll bar in the RTR. So we're gonna have to pull the interior out and install that roll bar in there. So we got the Watson Racing roll bar with the Watson Racing seat delete. So we're just unpackaging the roll bar and seeing what all we got with it. Uh, as you can see, we got a box for hardware here. So let's go ahead and open that and see what we got inside. We'll come around here. All right, and our box of hardware. We got grade A bolts, nuts and bolts, and the brackets for the the base of the, the back base bars. of those back bars that get screwed in through the, the angled hand. bars, and of course, the instructions, the all important on. instructions. So, we're gonna hey, finish unwrapping this, and of course, it came with stickers because we know stickers make it faster. Watson Racing. So, I don't know where he's gonna put those. Will he put them on the car? What do you guys think? Comment below. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Should he put the sticker on the car? Well, all right. I will update more as we get further into this. We're going to finish unpackaging it. Um, like I said, to make it easier, pull the front seats out of the way. Well, we're going to have to anyway. And we'll pull the back seat, the trunk. So I'll update as we're going. Okay, well, we have the drivers. And the passenger seat out. We got part of the back seat, the back seats out. We're gonna have to pull the panels off to get to stuff on there. Take the seat belt brackets out. Finish the trunk. As you can see, we got two seats here. There's the back seats over here, which won't go back in. So, disconnected the battery for safety. You don't want any airbags deploying in your seats. So, all right, seats are out. We're gonna start tearing more of the parts out of it. We gotta take the package tray off the back. We've gotta take the side panels off, the back seat belts out. So, here we go. Now, there we go. So now we have the main hoop in. It's bolted in loosely so that we can make adjustments. Now we're gonna do our two down bars. Assemble those, mark our points, drill some holes, and get started. Here we go. Clear up the seam sealer around the down bars and then get, do some measurements underneath the car. So we'll get our measurements underneath. I'll video that in a second. All right, so we've got the bar in, mounted in. Our grounds and sensors are hooked back up. Holes are drilled. Come around back here. We've got our holes drilled for the base of the roll bar. All vacuumed out. So now we're working on the rear seat delete install, cutting the side panels to trim them in, and going from there, we will go ahead and reinstall all the interior pieces, including the seats that are sitting there. We gotta trim these panels to fit around the roll bar. We've already worked on the delete, rear seat delete. So kit in there it's almost done all right so roll bar bolts are started we got to get underneath it and finish tightening those up so somebody will be in the trunk while somebody's underneath holding the bracket because we didn't drill the third hole because it was just one less hole to drill but roll bar and rear seat delete is in not too bad for a couple of guys working in a shop so 
let's finish it up, put the seat back in, and get finished. All right, seats are in. All bars in. She's ready for Daytona. I do highly recommend if you do this, have a friend there to help you. We got all this, look at that. Everything's all nice and neat in the back. Speakers back in, look at that. Man. All right. Like I said, passenger seats, all seats are bolted in. Roll bars in. Just need to put the back mats in as soon as I vacuum those. So, another job finished. Now she's ready to fly.